Hey, what's up, everyone? Jonathan with Bay Area Throwbacks. We're back with another uh, legendary sports location in the Bay Area. What's up, man? I'm with my brother Nate again. Uh, so today, yeah, so we, today got... we got the location of former Seals Stadium. Uh, right now, it is just a shopping center. You got Petco, Safeway, Ross. Used to be an office depot here. But yeah, so this is the old Seals Stadium. So Seals Stadium was opened April 7th, 1931. It was home of the San Francisco Seals, home of the Mission Reds, which was a, uh, a Pacific Coast League team. Same with the San Francisco Seals. The Giants played their first two years here in 1958 and 59 when they moved to San Francisco from New York um, and while Candlestick was being made. And then also the San Francisco Sea Lions, who was a Negro League baseball team for three months, also played here. So a lot of different teams played here. Mainly the mainly known for the San Francisco Seals, though. Um, if you don't know about the Pacific Coast League, it was basically the major league of the West Coast until the Dodgers and Giants moved to the California. A minor league, basically, but it was the West Coast Major League, basically, since they did not have an actual major league. So this is the location. If you look right here where I'm pointing right now, that would have been the right field bleachers, and that would have been the first base side of the stadium something funny real quick so my grandpa used to i think there was bigger trees here before he used to climb on these some trees here with a six pack of beer tied to his leg and just watch over the bleachers here and watch the games while drinking on a cold one but uh, i'm pretty sure the pictures i've seen have bigger trees so i'm pretty sure there's some other stairs uh trees that used to be here we got a park right here so this park's been here since the stadium so yeah, so this is Seal Stadium. Now we're gonna go to the plaque at the front. So right here we got a, so that's where we just were. This would be the right field bleachers pretty much right here. This is the corner of 16th and Bryant in the, I don't see no damn sign, but whatever. 16th and Bryant in the Mission District of San Francisco. So in 2008, they put a commemorative, um, I don't know what you call this thing. Plaque. Thank you, plaque. Uh, 50 years of the San Francisco Giants, kind of commemorating the first two years of G San Francisco Giants baseball at Seal Stadium. So it says, on this date 50 years ago today, uh, Major League Baseball on the West Coast became a reality when San Francisco Giants pitcher Ruben Gomez threw the first pitch to the Los Angeles Dodgers. Um, Sino, or Gino Camoli at 1.34 p.m. on April 15, 1958 at Seal Stadium. So that was the first major league game on this site that we are at right now. That was the first major league game ever on the West Coast. The first two teams, Giants, Dodgers. And the Giants did win eight to zero as they should have. It says first, so some of the players that played here were uh, Willie Mays. Uh, Willie McCovey and Orlando Cepeda all played at this stadium before they moved on to Candlestick. So those are some of the big names, giant players that played here of the time so now we're going to go to double play bar and grill as you can see across the street we're going to head over there right now and we're going to go real quick right before double play this is that's where we were just at this is a side view of the stadium the uh, the main part of the fans behind home plate would have been where that petco is around that area would have been the behind home plate area um there used to be an office depot here which they marked where the home plate used to be but the office depot is gone so i can't really tell you exactly where the home plate would have been but that area where petco is would have been behind kind of behind home plate area this would have been the first base foul line area and we got the right field bleachers where that around where that red uh building thing. Now we're here around the corner of 16 and brian across from where the right field bleachers would have been we're at the bar uh double plate bar and grill as you see on deck at seal stadium and all right so we're at double play bar and grill like i said which is open in 1909 so this was established before the stadium was even here so this would have been if you just imagine going to a seals game a mission reds or a giants game uh, the first two years this is probably where you would have if you wanted to get a drink before the game after the game some food this is where you would have went. And it's still here standing, 1909, over 100 years. As you see, literally across the street, you can just imagine all of the baseball talk and all the different things that have happened in this bar and all the you know, good people getting ready to go watch Willie Mays, Joe DiMaggio, who was on the Seals, McCovey, Cepeda. So, awesome. so now let's see if they'll let us in. 
Lee Hosh my grandpa probably got here at some point. Because I already had had three hot So this is the back room, uh, the restaurant area of Double Play Bar and Grill. There was a family having um, like brunch there, so I couldn't really talk too much. But this is just a lot of the memorabilia, different things they have in the back. It's mostly giants and seals. Um, as you see, that's Joe DiMaggio when he did. He did start his career with the seals before moving on to the Yankees. So that was a San Francisco guy. There's an old seals shirt right there. There's, uh, that's the stadium. And there's some of the Seals players. There's another view of the stadium. All right, so that was the Oakland Barn Grill right across from Seals Stadium. Um, that was the inside of it. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Like and subscribe if you're not already. And thanks for checking me out. I'm having that.